I'm Barney Zeitz. Uh, I've been living on Martha's Vineyard since 1972, doing full-time artwork. I was doing glasswork first, uh, and I started welding, and welding, depending on what year, I do more welding or less welding and more glass or less glass. Uh, but two years ago, I was approached by a woman who had gone to Germany to see where her father had been a Jewish child. She went to this now church that was a synagogue before to see where her father had been bar mitzvahed in 1899. She met the pastor of the church and they had this great moment where he realized for the first time that he had met someone whose ancestor, his father, had been a Jewish child in this building, which has been a church since 1951. So he was so moved that he formed a committee and decided that they wanted to try to find a Jewish stained glass artist that could do windows to commemorate the fact that Jewish people had lived in fleet in Germany for 500 years. So they reached out to her by email and she found me through a mutual friend here on Martha's Vineyard. Um, so for the last year and a half, we uh, you know, talked about it. Uh, I was brought to Germany by Dr. Thomas Fendert, who's here visiting right now. Um, and we met with the committees there and the town officials and we talked about what would be an appropriate uh, project. There's six windows in the church and one on the front and we came up with this idea between different people talking. It was a real community spirit. I came back to, you know, to the United States and I talked with people here that know about this kind of theme and we came up with the uh, idea after months we simplified it to a prayer for peace on the right called Aaron's Priestly Prayer. May God bless you and keep you and shine his light upon you and bring his countenance upon you and grant you peace. It's been around for thousands of years and the Christian services end with it as well. So on the right we're going to have it in Hebrew with Stars of David in the landscape all reaching up towards this abstract mountain. On the left it's going to be in German with crosses representing the Christian faith doing the same prayer and they both read towards the front of the church. Hebrew of course reads from right to left and German reads from left to right. So um, I built the first window, we've um, had some fundraising attempts and we're trying to blend the communities like yesterday we spoke at the Hebrew Center uh, at the services and Thomas, let me introduce you to Thomas, Thomas Fendert right here from Germany. We became good buddies and we've been using technology, hey, you can have this, Thank you. for the last year we've FaceTimed every week so we, see, we know when each other's tired and we shouldn't talk. <laughs> anyway, it's been quite a journey. So yesterday we had people over here at my studio to think about helping with the project. It's just something that we want the, a shared community There's even talk about using the show frame. These welded frames don't go to Germany. They'll stay here. So and have windows of the same theme in, let's say, in English and Hebrew. We don't need the German. So that's what we're hoping for. And this is Thomas Fendert, who's become a very good, special person. Uh, this is a very meaningful project for me. And what do you think about it? Actually, when you came over last year, it, we built up, from the first moment, actually, we built up a friendship. Uh, not that we wanted it or intended it, but it happened yeah. and so this is um it was necessary to come over to Martha's Vineyard to well show what we are doing to show both faces show the American side show the artist side and show the German side of the church and so um well actually I came up to to this project when Pastor Bean um, came to me and asked me well she's he's got something to introduce to me and a project and um well he told me about the project and I knew by the first moment that this was the right thing to do to support this and to be the chairman of the art committee who was actually yeah was supporting it and trying to make up contacts and so we are actually the the, um, the linking part between the church and the artist between the church and the community and um, well now that I've seen the window for the first time the day before yesterday I really was touched so it's very emotional being here and uh, we try to explain to the people what we are actually intend to do so we have in mind that it's uh, a kind of healing project 
so that we bring together and that we remember that we had um, almost 500 years of Jewish life in Fleden and when we had a community in that little town counting 9,000 people living there so it's not a real big city it's a small town maybe this is also the point where that uh, Jewish community was able to be assimilated um, and was a part of the community of the town of Fleden and um, this is our task to show that there was a life and that it was possible to live together in peace, not always in harmony, of course, but to live together in peace, no matter what faith you are. And um, this is the task we actually like to fulfill. So we like to have the windows that should be the point to ask us, to ask uh, the priest, to ask um, the people of the community, and to ask questions about what was it like before 1933? Um, what kind of people lived there? What did they do? How did they um, actually made contacts with um, the community? And how did the community itself work? This is not about forgiveness and this is not about an apology. But if somebody wants to feel any of those things, that's perfectly fine. We're just trying to acknowledge the existence of Jewish people in this community and acknowledge it by this common, uh, shared, not common, but a shared prayer for peace. Yeah. And that's what we're really after. And it's not that hard to do <laughs> because we get along great. And everybody loved Thomas. So he's put a face on this project. Anyone that met him yesterday, both at the temple or here at the studio, it's just, it's a delight. It's all great. And I went over there, I spent five days in Germany with these lovely people. Of course, I couldn't speak German, so it was a little bit hard, and he had to work so hard to translate. Small town, most people did not speak English at all. Um, but we had these uh, meetings, and it was really lovely. So we're, it's a shared community thing between German and uh, Martha's Vineyard. It's not just Jewish people here, it's more, it's everyone. And this is our task, and so we got the first window finished now. The second one is actually almost finished. This is uh, the second window that I'm working on, which is the middle German window. Uh, there's no German yet because that happens down lower. So I'm welding a second frame in the welding area. And as soon as that's ready, I'm going to put these top pieces in and then this all moves up on the table and I do the next row. Uh, this is fired. These are all fired except for this one here. And you can see these are actually just sitting on top of the base glass. This third window that is down 10 feet down from the middle window um, it will be a little, uh, you step up into the back of the church and the walls come in two feet on each side and so it's a little more intimate. You get closer to the window but you can read it from a distance and what happens with this window is that there's no words and no symbols in the glass. The only word is the single word for uh, peace, shalom and freedom which is in the frame and this is a, a half scale drawing and then the landscape will be done with a laminated technique which shows light on the edges and every piece that's glued down shows uh, the edge of light so it would be much more shimmery much more see-through uh, more optically pure where the word peace is so that you not only reach up into the mountain but then you move down the church to where the word peace is and that's what the whole feeling it's a feeling that we're trying to get here and so um, our task is to spread the information and to get the people um, wanting to be a part of our project. So this is actually what we intend to. We like the people to feel that they want to be a part of it because this is very unique and um, considering that the synagogue has been built in 1875, um, it's a small little house, but it's nevertheless it's special though. And this is actually what we wanted to show. And we wanted to show our personal contact and the very personal intent and intention of our project. You know, this project is an ongoing project. We have three out of the six windows funded and we're looking for support uh, and people that feel like they want to be part of this to uh, participate at both sides of the Atlantic, yeah. whether you're Jewish, Christian, it's a shared prayer for peace. So we set up a fund at the Permanent Endowment for Martha's Vineyard, which will be a tax-deductible contribution. Yeah, so we'd be happy if you uh, decide to be a part of our project. 
and uh, give us support so that we are in, able to fulfill our desire to have all six windows done. Thank you. I have an update. It's 10 months later and I have three windows finished and I'm working on the fourth one now. We're hoping by next fall to be funded for number five and six.